Impressionism was and still is a very important part of art today and art history. Impressionism is the 19th century art movement that originated with a group of Paris-based artists whose independent exhibitions brought them to prominence during the 1870s and 1880s. This art movement also consists of depicting the visual impression of the moment, especially in terms of the shifting effect of light and color. Impressionist painting characteristics include relatively small, thin, yet visible brushstrokes, open composition, emphasis on accurate depiction on light and its changing qualities, ordinary subject matter, and inclusion of movement as a crucial element of human perception and also experience. It also includes unusual visual angles. During early Impressionist times, there was an annual event called the Salon de Paris, which was a French revolution that opened the exhibition to foreign artists. In the 19th century, this idea extended into an annual exhibition of new paintings and sculptures. However, the amount of artwork that was submitted was rejected in mass amounts. The Salon, for quite a long time, only accepted traditional art that did not go out of the normal boundaries of art at that time. Early Impressionists completely violated the academic painting world held by the Salon. They painted realistic scenes of modern life and also painted outdoors, which is well known as plein air painting. Impressionists painted overall visual effects instead of details. Impressionists also painted with short and broken brush strokes of mixed and pure unmixed color. And to achieve an effect of an intense color, the strokes were not smoothly blended. At first, the public did not appreciate the style of art and it was highly criticized. However, later on in the Impressionism style was said to have captured a fresh and original vision. After Napoleon III saw the rejected works of the Salon in 1863, he said to the public that they are allowed to judge the artwork themselves. This was when the Salon des Refuses, Salon of the Refused, was created. Although many people that came to the Salon des Refuses came to ridicule and laugh at the artwork, ironically more people annually came to this Salon event compared to Salon de Paris. There's even more detail about the techniques Impressionists used. Short and quick strokes of paint quickly captured the essence of the subject rather than its details. The paint was often implied impasto. Impasto is when the artist lays the paint directly onto the surface very thickly, so thick that the brush or painting knife strokes are very visible. When the paint is dry, impasto provides a lot of texture. It makes the paint appear to be coming out of the canvas. The colors were applied side by side with as little mixing as possible. This is because this is make the color pigments appear very vivid to the viewer. Light was also a very important part in Impressionist artwork. The play of natural light is much emphasized. Often in plein air paintings, shadows are boldly painted. Also, wet paint was placed into wet paint. This produced softer edges and intermerged colors.
In the early 1860s, Claude Monet, Pierre Auguste, Alfred Sisley, and Frederick Brazil met while studying under Charles Gleary. These artists discovered that they all shared a common interest. This interest was painting landscapes in contemporary life. Soon, these artists started to paint in open air, making bold use of their paint. They developed a lighter and brighter manner of artwork that soon went on to extend the realism of Gustave Courbet and the Barbituan school. Paint and other art supplies weren't always readily available to artists. However, new technology played a big role in the development of Impressionist style. The introduction of premixed paints allowed artists to work more spontaneously, both indoors and outdoors. Also, new colors were becoming more available to artists. These colors include cobalt blue, cadmium yellow, synthetic ultramarine blue, and vervidian. Impressionists made bold uses of these colors, especially cobalt blue. It's very hard to include all the Impressionist painters but there are about 12 that many of you may know. These artists include Frederick Bazil, Gustave Cabetel, Mary Cassatt, Paul Cezanne, Edgar Degas, Edward Manet, Claude Monet, Berth Morissot, Camille Pisno, Pierre Auguste Renier, Alfred Sisley, and Armand Guillaumian. Most of these artists submitted their artwork to the Salon de Paris, but were rejected on a regular basis because their artwork did not contend to the normal society expected. One of the most well-known Impressionists was Claude Monet, which is very ironic because Claude Monet did not consider himself an Impressionist artist. Monet was described as the driving force behind Impressionism. I personally consider Monet to be a major reason why Impressionism stuck around. Claude Monet was involved in the first Impressionism exhibition that was held in 1874. The purpose of this independent exhibition was to free themselves from the constraints of the Salon de Paris, not to promote a new style. Note the attendance of the exhibition was an estimated 3,500 people. Claude Monet's career was spent trying to understand the effects of light and the local color of its objects, and the effects of juxtaposition and colors with each other. On a personal note, I appreciate Impressionism. It goes outside and breaks the boundaries of restrained artists. A lot of scientific studies went into Impressionism. The style is beautiful and is much different than what was accepted at the time. Earlier I had mentioned that Claude Monet and his peers had went on to create an independent exhibition. I think that's amazing because they did it for the purpose of freeing themselves and not for the restraints set upon them. I appreciate change and all of its ingenuities and Impressionism really helped art today.